What's going on there, guys? Good evening. Uh, the Earth Master here back on the live stream on this Saturday evening, January 15, 2022, about uh, 7.50 p.m. Uh, West Coast time here in California. Just got back from the uh, Northern California coastline looking at, uh, well, was looking for some tsunami waves from the activity today. Of course, with the eruption of uh, the Tonga area, that volcano down there, creating a... Uh, a little mess on the tsunami scale we'll get to that here in just a little bit uh, latest quake a 4.4 earthquake over here in the let's see exactly where we're at middle east area it looks like looks like about 10 kilometers for that earthquake let's go ahead and check out some latest information here on the usgs map there is that 4.4 earthquake Looking at the rest of the map, including the area of Tonga where this uh, eruption happened late last night. Uh, equivalent to a 5.8 earthquake, that volcanic eruption uh, took place there at the Hunga Tonga volcano. You can see right, uh, right smack dab underneath that diamond in this area right here is where that uh, eru eruption happened. Sending out a shock wave as well. I was reading a couple articles here about that uh, uh, they're uncertain if the volcanic eruption itself, you know, like the explosion caused the tsunami or if it was from the shock wave uh, that created the tsunami that still has, um, still has on the, uh, let's go ahead and check out the tsunami warning center here. It's, I've been having some issues with it. There's still a tsunami advisory for the West Coast, certain areas out there along California it looks like uh, still underneath the advisory uh, Oregon California border Humboldt uh, tell uh, Del Norte line and also down around the Daven, uh, Davenport area as well it looks like 10 miles northwest of Santa Cruz and uh, wow these are actually working now okay before I was clicking on these and these were not working this is the latest info here uh, on the tsunami uh, advisory there it looks like uh, tsunami has been confirmed some impacts are expected revised alert areas I was over there for a good portion of the day today <clears throat> looks like uh, probably around the low tide region around the Fort Bragg area and we've seen some pretty big waves out there uh, that would come in in a little in series if you will uh, and I think they're a little bit bigger than I'm used to seeing out there uh, but it was pretty cool nonetheless uh, let's see, looks like uh, tsunami advisory in effect for the California coast. Alerts in the following areas have been canceled because of additional information and analysis have been uh, better defined, have better defined the threat. The tsunami advisory is canceled for the coastal areas of California. Uh, so it's kind of odd. I'm a little confused on why they kept uh, the activity up for so long. And it's still on, you know, I don't know if they're still expecting some, some bounce back waves or something or, or some further, um, uh, waves coming in, but, uh, man, it's been up there for a little while and uh, you can still see that there, the advisory still exists here for the West coast. I was looking at the buoys here along the West coast and they're still showing, uh, of course, some activity ramping up here along the Northern California coast. This is from earlier. But when you click on these, you can view the event details here and kind of see that this is still still reading as a potential in event mode. You can see the uh, wave height difference there a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, I think the most I've seen far as measurement goes on the tsunami was three feet, somewhere around there, somewhere down south. Uh, Santa Rosa area, or not Santa Rosa, but uh, uh, somewhere down south, one of the Santa towns, I can't remember exactly. But uh, Santa Towns, good Lord. I'm, I'm a little bit tired. A three and a half hour drive over there, three and a half hour drive back. Uh, pretty heavy traffic, but we made it back safely. It was definitely uh, pretty nice over there seeing the ocean again and uh, seeing some of those big waves kick up. But uh, definitely uh, this, this volcanic eruption uh, majorly triggered uh, all of these buoys here throughout the Pacific and down here through South America. Uh, where we're still looking at uh well let's check out the data here you can see that a uh, little bit of difference here in the uh, wave height 
But, uh, wow, I just, I mean, it's pretty crazy, folks, what a uh, volcanic eruption underwater can do. And these are still in, uh, looks like some type of event mode uh, from the buoys. But uh, I think, I, I, I'm pretty certain that all, all of the uh, possibilities when it comes to uh, subsequent waves are um, pretty close to being over. Uh, the latest information there is watch number 18. So it shows that uh, tsunami waves has been confirmed and some impacts are expected this one was put out 7 25 p.m uh, pacific standard time of course uh this hour uh, and still listed underneath portions of california uh, looking at the rest of uh the earthquake activity down here around the tonga area not seen a whole lot uh, there was a little bit of movement up here to the north 142 kilometers deep uh, with a 4.5 of course um, far as other possibilities go in the uh, uh, movement I want to check out the EMSC model these guys are pretty uh, good at uh, showing earthquake activity in the uh, in the regions here that the USGS does not show and uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot there in the uh, Tonga area Looks like just that 5.8 from this morning from the volcanic eruption. I'm sure there's continued activity. I'm going to see if I can't find me a, a seismograph station there to monitor and hook up on the live stream uh, for some uh, continued activity of the uh, Honga Tonga area. This thing I want to show you guys down here. I was reading up on this uh, December tw uh, 2021 to January 2022 eruption. And, and FYI, there has been prior eruptions uh, throughout the years. Uh, 2014 2009 uh, but nothing significant as this one uh, that took place look at that satellite imagery of the uh, massive shock cloud as well uh, you can see this kind of popping its head up and uh, getting that uh, volcanic signature going on there including a shock wave that was recorded in Alaska I'm going to show you guys real quick what this states here <clears throat> A sonic boom was heard in Alaska seven hours after eruption, meaning the sound wave traveled 830 miles. Good Lord, that's absolutely crazy. <clears throat> but yes, there has been uh, some prior eruptions here uh, within this region, and uh, no doubt, you know, possible that we could still see some further eruptions here uh, in the coming days. Everything is ongoing at the moment uh, and still kind of being monitored and observed. Uh, it's just crazy. It's been a crazy day. Definitely seen this activity coming into the live stream, uh, live stream last night. Uh, Missy Mimi's noticed it. Couldn't quite put my finger on it, uh, what was going on as far as the seismic wave goes. Uh, and nothing was being put out by the USGS. But uh, ended up going to bed and missing out on the opportunity to see that uh, tsunami wave this morning along the coast uh, which wasn't significant but uh, did create some a little bit of uh, uh, issues along the california coastline and of course other areas around the pacific uh, so yeah just pretty uh it's a pretty crazy thing folks let me tell you um like i said emsc not reporting anything look at all this activity up and down the north american uh, plate here that just looks unreal pretty uh is this the latest one let me double check and make sure it is pretty active here magnitude four uh quite a bit up and down the northern california coastline and throughout the uh, middle america trench let's go ahead and check out the activity here on the usgs map and uh these guys not not showing anything near as what the emsc is showing of course the uh magnitude here is going to be four point uh 4.0 and above from the EMSC or from the uh, USGS. Not a whole lot going on there. I don't know what the EMSC is showing, but uh, they were showing quite a bit. So looking at uh, what the USGS does have, well, let's get back to uh, a little thing. Somebody asked me if this volcanic eruption can cause um, eruptions, uh, other volcanoes uh, around the Pacific Ring of Fire. I don't necessarily agree with that aspect. Um, I think possibly it could um, trigger other volcanoes in the nearby vicinity uh, due to what's uh, going on underneath the ground, depending on, of course, how much uh, uh, magma is intruding these volcanoes out here. But I don't necessarily think that uh, this specific volcanic eruption can cause a, uh, 
a volcanic eruption somewhere, say, for example, on the eastern Pacific. Uh, looking at the latest USGS map here, a little bit of movement into the Texas area and also into California, uh, where we're seeing some continued movement in the San Jacinto Fault area. And also right around the San Jacinto uh, Mountains over here, seeing a little swarm of activity kick up there over the last 24 hours. Uh, Ridgecrest movement as well, and also up into Northern California. Uh, we were watching the seismograph stations on our way back over from the coast, and we've seen a couple spikes pop up here uh, that the USGS, of course, not reporting here again along, <coughs> along the Petrolia area. Uh, movement into the Pacific Northwest remains relatively quiet with no tremor being reported along the Cascadia subduction zone. Once again, this is an extended quiet spell for sure. Uh, and that's continuing, no doubt, throughout the day today. No telling how long that will continue there at the Cascadia. Uh, looking at other areas into the Gulf of Alaska. A little bit of movement up north into the Anchorage area northward and around the Cook Inlet area. Some microquakes as well. Also a little 4.2 along the Aleutian Trench. Pretty shallow movement. The Japan Trench here remains relatively quiet except for some activity. Uh, that was recorded earlier this morning uh, right at the northern end of the Japan Trench, 4.8, 79 kilometers into that region of the world. Also a little cluster of quakes throughout the Middle East and northward around the Turkey area. Seen an uptick in four magnitude earthquakes in that region. Look at the South Sandwich Islands, though. It's been uh, pretty active here over the last 24 hours with three 5.0 uh, earthquakes, including uh, two 5.3s. Uh, one of those pretty deep into the subduction zone here of the uh, trench area, looking at 121 kilometers for that 5.3. South America remains relatively quiet. We did see some activity north here around the Virgin Islands and also a little earthquake here. Uh, what is this? Just north of the uh, Venezuela area, 4.1 along the trench region here. Um, this plate boundary, I should say, uh, 76.5 kilometers into that area. Also around the uh, Virgin Islands, seen a little bit of uptick in activity. Uh, a couple threes kicking off here, pretty close to the Puerto Rico Trench, uh, including a 110 kilometer deep 3.7 there, uh, just outside of Puerto Rico. So a little bit of movement there into the uh, region of the Caribbean. East Coast, United States looking pretty quiet. Uh, Middle America Trench here, 4.6. Do want to look at some of this activity that is being reported uh, from the EMSC. I mean, if this is the case, here's a whole lot of movement uh, that the USGS is not reporting and the majority of this looks like it is under the 4.0 threshold a bunch of threes kicking off here up and down the Gulf and also into the middle America trench here let's see it looks like that activity was today as well um, and a whole lot of movement if you look at the South America region compared to the uh, compared to the USGS map there's a bunch of movement kicking up and down the North American plate and the South American uh, plate boundary out here as well. Indonesia really rocking over here, it looks like, uh, according to the EMSC models. That's the only thing I don't like about the USGS. They just really don't show the whole aspect of things when it comes to uh, further movement in the region. Let's go ahead and check out Earthquakes Canada, see if we got anything cooking up there in the Canada area. Latest quake is going to be this one up here, a 4.0 happening earlier this morning, it looks like. Uh, Wrigley area, uh, Northern Territories, Northwest Territories, excuse me. And some further movement looks like throughout the week here with the, or the uh, orange circles there off the coast. Nothing other than this movement today, it looks like. Uh, the red circles would be today. Of course, the latest quake there in the purple ring uh, with the red center. All other activity over the last week, a little bit older movement. So not a whole lot going on there in the Canada area. Looking at Yellowstone, though, I am not for sure what's going on with this movement. Um, these guys are just lacking the data uh, when it comes to reporting. We are seeing some continued earthquake swarming here around Lake Butte and the Promontory. Uh, although the uh, main station here has just dropped off in data when it comes to showing the earthquake activity. Uh, and of course, subsequent, we, subsequently, we can't see what's going on there. There's nothing going on, according to those folks, I guess. Uh, but good thing we have these other stations nearby. But even then, these guys are lacking some data. You can see some further earthquake activity following that loss of data here, uh, showing up in the shadow of these uh, 
I'm not for sure what's going on with the readings of these stations here, but they don't look uh, they don't look normal. But there's definitely some earthquake activity ramping up there in Yellowstone uh, National Park for sure. Nothing significant. Uh, but then again, let's see if the uh, USGS is reporting it. Look at that. All magnitudes. Nothing going on here, folks. Yellowstone, awfully quiet. No earthquakes to report, according to the USGS. But we all know uh, that's definitely kicking up there on these seismograph stations, uh, even though they're missing data. Uh, what else we got here, folks? I um, think that's about it. Uh, I'm pretty tired. I'm going to jump in the shower, get rid of some of the sea salt that's all over me. Uh, pretty uh, pretty beautiful day along the coastline. We were up here in a little town called Fort Bragg along the coastline uh, right here where we observed some uh, pretty sizable waves, uh, pretty rough waves that would come in kind of like a series of about four or five of them. But uh, we were, I believe, around low tide here uh, earlier uh, due to the amount of, uh, well, water being uh, pulled away from shore. But I don't believe that was from a tsunami because... That uh, just low tide sometimes exposes those rocks out there where, where uh, we were recording. Uh, let's see. But yeah, definitely a beautiful area. And uh, we'll be watching this activity pretty closely. I would have liked to jump on this tsunami um, watch much sooner. But uh, man, we, did, we, we fell asleep. And uh, of course, we're humans, right? We need some sleep. And that's kind of what happened. But we'll be watching this a little bit more closely and monitoring the activity there at Tonga. I will include a, a localized station there in the Tonga area to help monitor the earthquake activity and the volcanic tremor and whatnot uh, with the uh, with that ongoing eruption. Just adding uh, some 24-hour earthquake activity onto the globe. Looks like it was just pulled under the 20-hour map. Uh, but now we're showing 24 hours of earthquake activity. On the map, and just FYI, deeper movement is going to be raised off the globe, such as this 4.3, and the shallower earthquakes, such as that 5.8, the uh, eruption there in the Tonga area, will be pretty much smack dab on the globe uh, when it comes to the uh, the uh, height here on the uh, on the earthquake 3D globe. All right, guys, have a good night. Uh, I'm gonna jump off here and um, get some, uh, like I said, some rest and a nice hot shower. We'll be back. Uh, tomorrow unless something happens tonight have a good night folks stay safe out there and uh, be prepared if anything changes on the tsunami uh, issuances we'll be on here on the stream have a good night guys peace out